Good morning. I'm Barbara Melvin, the Chief Operating Officer at the South Carolina Ports. And I'm happy to be here today to talk to you about South Carolina Ports operations. The Leatherman Terminal construction is going really well. Um, it's so exciting to see the, the culmination of a lot of effort, a multi-decade effort, as a matter of fact. Uh, just last week, we had our final concrete pour of the wharf, the deck on the wharf. Our buildings and canopies are more than 50% complete. I think it's actually 60% now. Uh, we have uh, runways being installed for our rubber tire gantry cranes. Uh, what our engineer, Butch Weber, describes as a city is truly coming together. Um, we are so excited about the progress of all of our contractors out there, and it's just an amazing effort. Our equipment is on the water. The first uh, cranes, two of five, arriving from Shanghai in September. The addition of five cranes that reach 169 feet above the water for our lift height um, allow us to handle the largest ships on the water. So phase one of the Leatherman Terminal gives us the ability to handle four 14,000 TEU ships at one time. Another exciting attribute of the Leatherman Terminal is our ability to handle a 19,000 TEU ship should one come to the East Coast. There are not a lot of ports who can say that. Uh, we have successfully simulated that size of ship coming to the Leatherman Terminal, as well as the Wando Terminal. Beginning about five years ago, we made some significant investments in the Wando Terminal. When this terminal opened, it was really designed to handle 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 TEU ships. And just like when you have to add on to your house when your family grows, as the ship sizes grew, we really needed to change the look of Wando Terminal. And we have shored up the the docks to where they can handle the cranes that are much larger, way much more. And amazingly, we did all of this renovation while we were still open. So we took out one berth at a time, and we significantly enhanced our ability to handle large ships here at the Wando. Wando Terminal is looking great, and the Harbor Deepening Project, which will be complete by uh, the middle of 2022, is really going well, and we will have the deepest harbor on the East Coast. So not only will our customers see immediate benefit, uh, the opening of the Leatherman Terminal is going to allow us to have the ability to put forward some creative solutions for the future as well. The Leatherman Terminal, when you combine it with the new Navy Base Intermodal Facility being planned by the South Carolina Department of Commerce and the South Carolina Ports Authority, you can uh, have the ability to run barge traffic between the Wando Terminal and the Leatherman Terminal, utilizing near dock rail at the Navy Base Intermodal Facility, which will alleviate some of the traffic on 526. And you know, those are benefits for our stakeholders. The creativity of how we will move freight in the future is something that the South Carolina Ports takes very seriously, and our stakeholders need it. They need everyone to contribute to creative solutions that reduce traffic in the Charleston area and around the state. And so we take that seriously, and so HLT is, is another benefit of that immediately will, will be our ability to put forward additional creative solutions because of its proximity to the planned Navy Base and Remote Facility. I've been with the port now for more than 20 years, and I think I've been working on port expansion for that same amount of time. It's very emotional for me to finally see the phase one of the Leatherman Terminal coming to fruition. I can't brag enough on our team. I think the next video um, is, is going to feature our engineering department, and they have really coordinated the most complicated maritime ballet by helping build and, and oversee the construction of the Leatherman Terminal. Our team is amazing. Um, we have an in-house team of engineers that have been working on this project. But we also have an amazing team of contractors that are working with us and contract engineers that are working with us. This is a, a big lift for South Carolina, and I can't be more proud of the number of South Carolinians that 